Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with a simple, really simple, beef pot roast just roasted with some aromatic vegetables, celery, carrots, onions. It makes its own sauce. You do nothing. You do nothing. You put it in the pot and you just, uh, you know, go figure out something to do for two and a half hours. So we're going to brown a, it's about three and a half pounds, a beef chuck roast, beef pot roast, nice big thick piece. Brown it on both sides over high heat and some vegetable oil generously salt and pepper this. That's a big hunk of meat, and also the salt and pepper is going to flavor our veggies and our juices. All right, so we're going to flip that over. All right, so once that's seared very well on both sides, you're going to take it out of the pot. And by the way, I'm filming this at sunset, so the light's going to keep changing, so, you know, you'll just have to put up with it. I'm going to throw in a cup of onions, a cup of celery, and a cup of carrots, just diced. All right, we're just going to saute those in the beef drippings and that little bit of oil. I'm going to add a half a stick of butter, and I'm just going to cook that for about three minutes. Then I'm going to add a little bit of dried rosemary, about a teaspoon of dried rosemary. I lost the footage, so I have to draw it. So that's me. Right, once I put in the rosemary and stirred it around, I took the beef that I browned. If you can see that, it says beef. I'm going to put that back in the pot, I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to put it in the oven. You're going to put it in a very slow oven, 275, for about two and a half, three hours. It depends. Now, you got to test it. Don't go by my time. Your uh, meat might be, uh, you know, bigger than my meat. Your oven might be hotter. So, till it's fork tender. And what does that mean? That's what it means, fork tender. All right, the vegetables you want to taste, they should be beautifully seasoned from the, you know, salt and pepper from the beef. I put that on some horseradish mashed potatoes, just to give it a little kick, and that's it. The juices from the beef, the butter, and the natural juices from the vegetables make this great topping for the beef. So you don't always need to have these complicated sauce recipes and roux and stocks and reductions and all that stuff. Sometimes it's just nice to have plain hot roasted beef with some just nice soft what some people would call overcooked, but I call cooked vegetables. So beautiful, so, so nice. I hope you give that a try. It could not be easier. The recipe's on the site, so go there to get the ingredients. And as always, enjoy.